What's up, Wayne Barron here with Dark Effects Studios. And as you can tell, we are inside of Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager. And what we're going to do is we are going to install the 2016 of Windows Server. And I've actually got Windows Server installed on another machine, but I actually want to go through the setup on exactly how you install and what your options are. So let's go ahead and get it started. We're going to do uh, Server 2016. All the way down to other, click next, give this 2000, click on next, create, next, dynamically allocated, next, uh, come over here, and we're going to scroll all the way down to our, oops, our temp drive, Microsoft server, and that's where we're going to put it at, we'll start off with 20 gigs, let's go ahead and create it, double click on it. We're going to come over here and we're going to select where we have downloaded the file to and it's going to be down here on the server windows 2016 and right there click on start okay so let's go ahead and click on next install now okay these are our options that we are given okay so we got the standard evaluation this is a 180 day evaluation version i will have the link down in the description so that anybody else that decides that they want to give this a shot can give it a shot okay so we got your standard and your data center i have the data center installed on my other machine and i am going to install the standard evaluation version on this one because basically what i'm doing is just showing how to install it i am not going to go through anything else through the virtual machine this is just an installation video only okay so you got the standard evaluation version and the desktop experience for either one of these editions the standard and the data center by themselves is simply just you have to do everything through command prompts and so forth there is nothing installed basically what you read right here uh, reduces management and services by installing only what is needed to run most server roles and applications it does not include gui which is what you see right here all this desktop and everything is not involved in this version or that version if you want to have the GUI, which is what I've got installed on my server, then you would choose the desktop experience of either one of these two right here. So we're going to choose the standard evaluation version with the desktop experience on it. We're going to click on next. We're going to accept the license agreement. Click on next. We're going to choose to install Windows only advanced. And this right here is where we're going to put it at. Click new. Click apply. Click OK. And we're going to choose to install it right here on this drive. We're going to click on next and let it install. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and type in our password. And whenever you type in your password for this, if you don't type in a strong enough password that's got uh, characters in it and so forth, it will give you an error to let you know. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. Let's close that. We're just going to do a simple password. And then this one right here. So to give you this error, the password you typed didn't meet the password complexity requirements set by the administrator for your network or group. Get the requirements from your administrator and then type in a new password. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in a more complex password. And then click on finish. Okay, and uh, the issue that we have right here is that uh, you need to hold down the right control key and hit delete at the same time and that is the same as using control alt delete but what you're seeing with the flashing of the screen right here that is me trying to hit control alt delete and it keeps on going to the uh windows 10 control alt delete 